Good afternoon, boys and girls. Welcome back to a history circle. Today we're doing an experiment. Experiment number six, gas to liquid to solid. Exploring the, uh, the states of water. So what you will need if you want to do this at home, this is really one you have to have mom or dad help you with because there's some stuff you have to, uh, parents really should help you with this. So you need some ice. You'll need uh, a pan with a lid. I mean, something on the stove. You need a hot plate, something to heat up water with, and a freezer for a part afterwards. Now, I have all the parts I need here. I've got ice, I've got ice here, I've got the hot plate with some water already boiled up. So we're gonna do something. We're gonna take my ice cube, and we're gonna put it inside the water. I want you to see how fast it changes its state. Let's see. See it bubbling around there? You should start seeing it shrink pretty fast. Yeah, it's going. It's still going. Smaller, smaller, smaller. Very quick. And now it is gone. <laughs> Did the ice cube disappear? It didn't just disappear, it changed its state. Water has a special ability to change from solid, like the ice cube, like the ice cubes, turning into liquid when you add heat, like the boiling water. And then, what happens to the water when it gets hot? Look at this. On the glass, on our hot plate, something's happening, something's gathering up there. That is called condensation. Why is it doing that? Well, the water inside is getting so hot, it's turning into steam. That's the gas state of water. The steam has to go somewhere, and steam always rises. Hot air always rises. So the only place it can go is up to the glass. And you can see there's drips of water on the glass now. I can take that and yeah, just a little bit yeah, you can see there's a little bit of water in the bottom of my beaker now. Now, what the experiment is, you could take the water you collect from your condensation. You can take a lot more than that. You stick that in your freezer for just a little while, an hour or so. And when you come back and look at it in an hour or so, you're going to find solid ice. Frozen solid. Those are the three states of matter. That's how matter, that's how water can go from a gaseous state, the steam, to a liquid, the condensation, and then back to a solid, the ice. So you can do this one at home. Make sure mom and dad are helping you with the hot plate though. All right? So you received your experiment forms. The way you work them out is for first level, this form, you draw a picture of what you saw. Draw a picture of the hot plate, the ice cube melting, the steam rising, all of that. And then the statement. What is the thing that we learned from this lesson? You could write something like, water can pass from solid to liquid to gas, and then back again. For second and third graders, a little bit more information. What's the name of the experiment? What are the materials that we used? What's the procedure? Procedure means what did we do? That's the steps of what we did in the experiment. Observation, what did I see? In your own words, what did you see happen? And then results, that's the same thing as the statement here. The result is what was proven in this experiment? What did we learn? All right, I hope to see some good reports from you later. I'll see you next week with a new experiment. Bye-bye.